Hi, everybody. I'm Julie from Amlac. I would like to introduce you a good product, something really powerful: Zigbee LED panel system for up to 500 pieces LED panel light control. It transforms your living and working space brighter and smarter via Zigbee wireless control, and offers the most economic and smartest energy-saving solution. Now. Let's have a quick look at all the members here. We have two Zigbee gateways. This is a common gateway, and this is a new gateway with embedded daylight sensor and temperature sensor. This is the Zigbee LED driver for the panel. It receives requests from the gateway and gives command to the panel. There are two versions: the CCT adjustable version. And the single color dimmable version. I'm taking you for a closer look at the LED driver. There are two channels for our CT version: one channel for warm LEDs and another channel for cold LEDs. There's zero to ten volt input, which can adapt to common zero to ten volt dimmer switch control. Now, here's the sensor input, which can work together with the microwave sensor. So all together, Zigbee wireless control, zero to ten volt control, microwave sensor control, all together to realize really automatic control over the panels. You might be more interested in how to work with the panel. Let me show you. First of all, we need to connect the Zigbee gateway to the Zigbee LED driver. The app for the system is called. I light scene. You can download it from App Store, Google Play, or by scanning QR code. There are two connecting methods: AP mode for local control, one device control at one time, and station mode for remote control, ten devices control at one time. Here's the Wi-Fi setting. Choose the IP address of the gateway. Here it is. All right. Now, for AP mode, the gateway is connected. Next, open the app iLight Scene. If we need to work on remote control, I mean station mode, click Network Setting from Settings. Select Security Mode. Choose WPA2 PS. Enter ID and password. Click Save. Once it's done, the gateway is successfully connected to the router. To save time, let's skip this part. I will only demonstrate the control under AP mode. First, we need to add new device to the gateway. You can either add by QR code or binding. We are now adding the driver by QR code. Scan. Name the driver. And save. The operation is quite simple. We choose the panel here. We can turn it on, turn it off. We can dim or brighten from. Zero to one hundred percent. We can change the color temperature from three thousand K to six thousand K, or you may do both at the same time. Apart from all this, we have more functions with the panel. This is the timer function. We can choose a specific time, select some kind of effect. And then save. Now the timer is set. Next, we can see the delay function. Say two minutes later, fifty percent brightness and four thousand and five hundred K. Save it. You can also choose different lighting effect for the panel. Here we have jump effect. And fader effect. 
and even the candle effect to create you a good atmosphere for a romantic dinner. This is a good selling point if you have them exhibited as a lighting show. Yes, and even there's 10 levels for the lighting effect. Level 1, the fastest, and level 10, the slowest. Now pause. This is the operation for a single product. And we can also add them in a group. New group, name the group. Choose the light type, color temp group. Select devices, save. So the grouping is done. These are all basic operations for the app control. All right, as I mentioned, there are daylight sensor and temperature sensor inside. Let me show you how they work. First, we turn on the daylight sensor. There are three modes, enhancement mode, opposite mode, and hold mode. You can choose according to your real need. Now I choose opposite mode to save energy. Second, we turn on the temperature sensor. And the setting, you can choose the minimum temperature, maximum temperature, and then save. All right, now we go binding, setting, Binding setting, we choose the daylight sensor and we choose the panel. Okay, it's binded. And we choose the temperature sensor, then choose the panel. Save. All right. So um, we put the panel to 10% brightness. and to cold white. Let's see what will happen. You see, the light's becoming brighter since the sensor feels there's no enough luminous. And if we put some eyes or something hot, once the sensor feels it, the temperature, the color temperature of the light will change. That's fantastic, isn't it? Some may wonder if it's too trouble to control the panel via app each time. No worry, we offer another control accessory, Zigbee Handheld Dimmer. And this is for the CCD panel. Also, we have the remote control. This one is for single color panel. All right, you can scan the QR code from the handheld dimmer and add it to the system. By the handheld dimmer, like the sensors, you can turn the panel on and off. dimmer or brighter warm to cold and there are five scenes can be downloaded from the app if you are interested in how to control it via Zigbee handheld dimmer, contact us now for a detailed video instruction. Thank you.